Hello everybody, and welcome to the third episode of my Enter the Gungeon series, in which we tried to get 100%. In the last episode, we managed to complete the Pilot's Pass, and the episode before that, we got the Marines. This time, we're going to be moving on to the Hunter's Pass, as it was suggested in the comments of the previous episode. And I do want to try and do what you guys want. And uh, you said that the Hunter was your favourite character, so I'm going to play around with the Hunter. The Hunter gets the little Corgi, as you can see here, that just digs up random consumables. It's just a small RNG factor to maybe get an extra key, blank, shield, few things like that throughout the run it usually doesn't matter too much but it's an extra little help she also gets a crossbow um and i believe she gets one other thing doesn't she um no actually it's just the crossbow oh, here's all the items we unlocked last time um yeah it's just the dog and the crossbow uh, so she's a pretty basic character all um all around but the crossbow really helps on the early floors um especially the first one as you can usually get a pretty easy flawless on the boss by using her uh, her crossbow to kill the boss um, I just want to say before we get into this episode, uh, thanks to you guys that have been supporting the series. I know it's only a few episodes in, but it still means uh, quite a lot to me. Um, and also, another thing, this series at the minute is daily, but it won't always be daily. It just depends on my availability with work. I'm probably going to be doing it, like... When I'm available, I'll try and do at least three a week, hopefully. It just depends on how busy I am. But that being said, let's head straight into the Gungeon and try and kill the Hunter's Pest. Hopefully we can get a good chest on the first floor. We've been getting pretty lucky um, recently with a black chest on our first run. So, we'll see what we can do. I am just going to use the pistol for now and uh, just conserve the crossbow's ammo until we get to the boss. Or until there's some big enemies that I definitely think uh, require the crossbow to get the easier kills. Um, we want to be taking as many... Uh, not as many, as little hits as possible on this first floor, just so we can save up our health for the oubliette if we can get manage to get there. Because we do want to try and make it to the Abbey of the True Gun, as we tried to last time and failed. Uh, that's the one that you get the old crest and go to. And unfortunately, yeah, like I said, we've lost it two times in a row now. Um, it's not easy. The pressure of not being able to be hit really gets to you. And it's happened that... Uh, just so happens that a few rooms before the uh, crest um, altar, we managed to get hit. It's just a bit of a shame. Oh, we did get a free chest here, so that's nice to know. If we get an extra key, that'd be really nice. So we have the Veta Break here. That's, it's an okay weapon. Uh, I'd say it does a decent job of room clearing and an okay job of boss killing. But if we get the Skull Splitter, however, we will definitely want to buy that because I know there's a pretty sweet synergy uh, with MT guns that I got uh, earlier on today um, when I was playing in my free time. Um, that was, uh, it basically made the skull for, skulls from the Skull Splitter split into three more and get connected by the chains and oh, it was, it was pretty insane really. Um, it's like triple the DPS and any enemy that I miss uh, still gets hurt. It's, it's the perfect combo. Um, and also I think it made the Veta Break here have a freezing effect, which was amazing. That really, really helps. Um, it meant that it became one of my ideal boss killers. The only problem was its ammo capacity is a little on the low side, but it was it was pretty effective up till about four, uh, floor four. I um, thought I, I, blah, blah, blah. I think it did a pretty good job there. Um, but anyways, for now we're thinking about that because it's unlikely we're gonna get the skull splitter. I don't actually know if we have the skull splitter unlocked yet. Don't you shoot my barrel? I need that barrel. Um, I'm not sure if we have it unlocked yet. Um, I really can't remember which items are bad behind shops and which ones aren't. It's been a long time since I've unlocked the uh, items with hegemony credits. Like I said, it's I, I got my 100% um, probably about 7 or 8 months back. Uh, so it's been a long time. Uh, I don't really remember which items go where. and I, I, I know that we get duct tape off of um, the shop that we're buying from currently, so I'm excited to get that. If you don't know what duct tape does, then you're going to be in for a treat. It just lets us uh, basically strap two guns together, and it combines their ammo pools and fires them both at once, and it can be it can be made into some really awesome combos, and even be abused in a few ways uh, to make some guns really overpowered. You can get a gun that, say, has... An ammo capacity, a max ammo capacity of 50, and turn it into a gun that has a max ammo capacity of 800, um, and fire it like every room and use it in every room. Oh, I, I once had it with the uh, bait launcher, the one we saw in the last episode that fires tigers, and so I just launched tigers in every room, about 10 of them, and it destroyed everything. Oh, here we go. Look, here's a perfect example of what the corgi does. She, little corgi just dug us up a little blank. That's nice and useful. Ah, oh, we've got two brown chests. I suppose that makes our decision a little easier when it comes to, um... Oh, we do have that blue chest as well. When it comes to going down to the oubliette, it makes our decision a little easier. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go for the boss and kill it with this crossbow here. And we do have the Bullet King, probably one of the easier bosses, so we can hopefully flawless him. I just don't like the way he corners you. 
Just try and keep your distance. Best way to kill him. That that ball attack that he just did there is the only one that I have trouble with. And I am going to blank that because it looked like it was coming right at me. Uh, right. I'm not feeling safe here. Okay. The Molotov is probably his one attack that actually gives you some breathing room. Gives you a bit of space. Oh, that was close. I almost died. dove right into that. Okay. Um, I'm going to blank again. Ugh, we can't get a secret. No, no. We found a blank. Thanks, doggy. We might be able to get a secret room if we save this blank. And I really want to be able to save the blank. Come on, die, boy. Uh, but yeah, it's that ball attack's the only big problem. Okay. I'm not in a good spot for this at all. Oh, my God. This is not nice. Oh, my God. Do not shoot your ball. Okay, you just don't want to be above him when he shoots it because you're basically screwed. Because it explodes in such a random and weird pattern, you're going to have to blank it, in my opinion. You don't want to risk it. Okay, so we got the demon head, which is okay. It's uh, nothing special, but um, it can do a pretty good work on the floor uh, one and two bosses. And I'd say it does an okay job of killing um, of killing the floor two, uh, not floor two, floor three enemies. Um, so it's good to have around. We should probably use it in the Ubliet, actually, because um, since the Ubliet's, like I said before, about the difficulty of floor four um, in comparison, it's probably a good idea to. Um, to try and use it on that floor. We should be able to clear some of the enemies out a bit quicker. So if we look here, we're going to look for secret rooms. It's not going to be here, because as you can see, there's not enough space. Same with here, not enough space. And these two are exits, so it's definitely not in that room there. This room, it has a chance of being here, because there's a bit of space, but I doubt it is. No, it's not. Um, we'll take a little look in here, but if not, we're just going to have to blank the shop, I think. That's our best bet. Um, I, it's, it's, this is kind of an awkward secret room, this is. Um, you know what? Ugh, it's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, I'm sure go blank the shop. It could be off this side. Oh, it is off this side. I'm glad I did that. Okay, it was only one armor. I mean, it was worth getting, but it's nothing special. So, right, let's destroy our chests. Unfortunately, I don't want to destroy our chests because I do want items. But, oh, nice. We, we got an explosion. Um... But I really want to get the, um, the Abbey of the True Gun done. And I do think we can make it to the... Um... Oh, we got Junkin! We got Junkin! We could have a Junkin run. This could be fun. This could be very fun. Give me Junk. Give me Junk. Give me Junk. Give me Junk. Yes! Now he's got his helmet. If we could get Battle Standard, that would be amazing. Uh, so if you don't know what Battle Standard does, it just increases his damage by quite a lot. And makes him into kind of a god. Um, do you remember where that barrel was? Oh, I, I remember where it was. We're going to have to do the trek again, people. Um, so, stand by for this boring bit of uh, water barrel pushing. Uh, no. Uh, no. Oh, my God. This is so annoying. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. Okay, we've got to push it all the way through these rooms. Oh, no. I've, got to, I've let it go too far as well. There we go. Junkin, can you push it for us? We should get Junkin and Dog to uh, to do it. Be our little slaves for a bit. But nope, they don't do anything. At the minute, they're just chilling. He's got his little hat on. <laughs> he does look good in his hat. It looks a lot better than he did before. We, I think I think last time we did just have Junk, uh, Junkin with no extra junk, and so he just he was just a lonely little self doing absolutely no damage, which is quite funny. Um, to be fair, the dog doesn't do any damage either, so it's quite a good pair. Okay, if we lined this up right, we might have done. No, I don't think we have. Poo. Right. There we go. Ah, oh, thank God. That wasn't as hard as it would have been otherwise. Um, I have had it where I've had it, like, say, this room here and had to push it all the way down. For some reason, I don't know why, but it isn't spawning in the fireplace room. It, may, it might be after a certain amount of times of completing the Ubliette, eventually the water barrel does just start to spawn. No, stop. Stop. Eventually the water barrel does just start to spawn in the uh, fireplace room. Which obviously makes things a lot easier. Um, right, here we go. I'm not going to feel as bad about destroying chests now. I know we have Junkin. Because um, once you get him up to like the 6th or 7th level, he becomes amazing. Um, and we do have our Demon Head, so we'll use that for now. Um, should be able to clear the um, Oubliette pretty quickly with that. Oh, speak of Battle Standard, we just unlocked it. That's nice. I didn't even know we didn't have it unlocked. But that's nice to know. Right, now with Beam Assist as well, we should have a good time with this gun. Eh. Oh, these enemies are going to go down quick. Very quick. Yes. Oh, we got a key. And we got ammo. I am going to take that for this, even though we've only used a little bit. But uh, thanks for digging that up for us. That's very useful. Haha. -ha. Oh, I love the beam assist. B 
beam weapons like this used to be absolute garbage before um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons because it was so hard to hit small enemies such as them with it, and now oh, it's perfect. And it seems that the um, aim assist has a pretty pretty good range on it too, so that's that's really nice to know. Uh, we can kind of hit enemies that are off screen with the aim assist. God damn, die! Ugh, Junkin, do more damage. Ah. Uh, I haven't had a junk and run, like a proper one, in a very long time, so this could be quite fun. Um, it just depends on what sort of quality of chests we get. We don't. I, I'd say if they're blue or brown, we should destroy them, and then green or above, we should open, just because we don't have many guns. And if we're going to go to the Abbey of the True Gun, we really need more guns, because that boss is not easy, um, and I really don't want to get destroyed by him. Another key! Oh my god, you're doing so well. This dog is normally not this good. I'd say he usually finds maybe two items in a full run, and he's found three so far. Okay, so this is a green chest. Um, we probably will open that then. I'd say green chest. Actually, it depends. If our other ones are higher tier, and we end up getting a gun, then I'll destroy it, because I'm not bothered about a green level passive. Uh, there are some good ones, but I'd rather have uh, guns at the minute. Um, right, I'm going to try and defeat the boss first, though, enough for the guaranteed gun, as we've done in the previous episodes. Die, big mushroom. Okay. Half a heart there. Not very useful, but it's kind of, we should, like, it'd be cool if you could, like, feed them to Junkin or feed them to your dog to, uh, to make them stronger or give them some extra capabilities. I mean, I'd, like, uh, for any of you that play The Binding of Isaac, it'd be cool to get a dark bum type situation where you can give them hearts and the, um, they trade it in for armor. That'd be really interesting. Because uh, it'd mean that play, uh, characters like the robot could do things with hearts that drop. Because for some reason, hearts still drop when you're playing the robot, even though he can't even pick them up. So we do have another green chest. Hmm. We'll have to see. I'll see how I feel. If we don't get a really good gun from the um, from the boss, then I'll open both. If we get a decent gun, then I might just destroy uh, one or two of them. We'll have to see. And maybe if we find our secret room, we can... Um, we could just look at getting a chest out of there, or destroying some junk in there. That'd be nice. Uh, a lot of the time, the chests on this floor do contain, um... A lot of, uh, the secret room, sorry, do contain chests. Oh boy, oh boy. I've run out of ammo on that. Oh my god. Oh, that was a good dodge. Whoa. Junkin. Do this for me. Roll! Ugh. Yes, I got him. I got him. Don't worry, Junkin. Junkin should roll of them too, that'd be cool. Let's just keep trucking on here. Okay, so we do need at least one key to open up the um, crest. So that does um, kind of spoil opening both chests, uh, which isn't isn't exactly too bad. Like I said, we do want the junk. Um, it just depends if it gives us the junk. It is very annoying when you have junk and, and you get a red heart that you don't need from a chest, or like I've had it where I get like the phoenix or something. You ne when you when you want junk, you never get it, and then otherwise, uh, like you get it all the time. You get it from every chest, even if you just want health. It's really frustrating, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Where, where's Junkin? Oh, he's here. He's just slapping that guy's booty. He just gives him a little smack look. Wow. <laughs> he does, like, no damage. There we go. I think once we get into level 3 is where he starts to actually deal some decent damage. Go, Nitro. Aha! I got a strike. Oh, my God. These shotgunners are such a pain in my ass. Oh, God. I gotcha. We've only got five bullets left for this as well. We, should really, we could really do with some ammo now. Little dogger, can you pick up some ammo for me? Right, we have the boss available to us. We don't need money for anything. Should we buy... I'm going to buy ammo. It's not a good idea, but I'm going to buy ammo. We don't need keys for anything apart from opening up the uh, crest room. So, I am not bothered about having a lack of keys because I said I want junk anyways. But I think this killing this boss quickly is going to be uh, better off than spending ages with a starter pistol on him. I'd rather just spend the 36 and uh, get it over with because this boss is tedious. Oh god! Oh, oh my god! It's um, it's more the fact that he has that attack where he disappears and can't be hit. He does that quite often sometimes, so uh, I don't want to have to spend longer fighting him because I'm using a weaker weapon. Uh, because he'll, he'll just keep doing that invincible phase. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! I still got hit. Ah oh, well, it's only one armor. I didn't pick up the crest, did I? No, I didn't. Good. Oh, and that's the other armor gone. God damn it, we buy armor, and armor, not armor, ammo, and we still get hit. Oh well. Like I said, there's no flawless on this guy, so we don't need to worry about uh, actually getting hit. It's just the armor that we've lost. We've not actually lost anything extra. I just would have liked to have that for the next floor. Alright, get get your ass back there. 
The Hegemony Carbine. Eh. We still don't have a boss killer. Please, 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 this is the weapon chest. Oh, it is. Okay, thank you. Right. Then let's destroy this chest. Hwa, hwa. Give me junk, give me junk, give me junk. Yes. He grows stronger. Right. Now we've got a good gun to look the secret rooms as well, which is nice. It's not going to waste too much ammo. Um, oh, we just unlocked gold junk as well. I don't know if you saw that, but we just unlocked gold junk, which is useful, I guess. Um, gold junk basically is a random piece of junk that gives you um, 500 uh, casings and also synergizes with junkin. I'm not going to spoil that because I've not even seen that myself. I know what it does, but I'm not going to spoil that because I know that there's some cool interactions. Right, let's go get the crest. I'm not going to pick it up until i found the secret room, or at least until I've searched for the secret room, because if there's a pit in there or a fire, I'm going to be really annoyed. Right, uh, nothing in here. Let's search the exit room, and then we'll blank the shop as well. We don't want to spend too long. Where is it? It can't be off there. The only place it could be is uh, right here, but that, even that's unlikely. So I'm going to guess this room here, down. Like The shaping of the bottom bit here looks kind of suspicious. Or I'm going to check the shop as well. Hmm, that was unfortunate. I'm gonna buy this key as well. We might want it, because we might get a black chest. Here we go. Let's get the old crest. So, so far we're having, like, it's actually an okay run, despite the fact that we have three junk and um, pretty mediocre weaponry. Uh, but I think the fact that we have junk and, and the fact that you can grow stronger and stronger says something. But now, I have to really, really focus on making sure that I do not lose the damn crest. So I'm going to go left. I think it's left. Do not die. Do not die. Do not get hit. My god, go away, sniper. No. Thank god. Right, <laughs> I'm going to have to focus quite a bit here, so I'm sorry for my lack of talking um, at certain points, but... Ooh, we got a, we got a strike there. We, we just killed the entire room with uh, just the nitro. I don't know where the other enemy is. Okay. Go away. Snipers are deadly. Go on, Junkin. Get him. Get him. Right. I think Junkin does okay damage now that he's got a shield. Ooh. I'm just going to open that. The Deckard. Okay, that's a boss killer. We have a boss killer. Okay, that's nice. I really should have killed the boss and waited, but oh well. We have the Deckard now, so that's nice. Uh, it's not got much ammo in it, so that's a bit of a problem. Because we do need ammo on other guns at the minute. But um, I do like the fact that we have that. It's going to mean killing bosses is a little bit easier. Junkin, can you kill this guy for me? He's doing... I don't know. I'd say he's doing okay damage, but I've just hit him like 15 rounds and Junkin hit him four times and he still didn't die, so Keyboy, Keyboy. The, the crest is more important, but I really want Keyboy. Okay, cool. We got both. This room I know is a pain because I'm pretty sure a uh, um, lead maiden spawns in the middle and that's what's taken our thingy away every single time so far. So <laughs> we'll deal to that with that and we might even get out the, um, the Deckard when that comes around. Die, minion. They're not my minions, but you know what I mean. What are you doing? X. Okay, it didn't spawn. Nice, 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 nice. And I'm going to go through the shop, because the shop can spawn secret rooms. Not secret rooms, uh, special rooms off of him. So that will be nice to find out. And he hasn't this time. It's a pretty bare-bone shop as well. It's just got a key in there for sale. We don't want anything else, really. Uh, if I haven't said already, if we did buy armor, it'd go underneath the, um, the crest rather than on top of it. So there's no point buying extra armor. You'd think that might actually help, but it really doesn't. Um, I have tried that. That's like the first thing I tried. Ah, oh, we just made it to the boss. You you watch. We're going to end up going through this full floor and get to like the last room, get hit, and then find the crest. Oh no, we, we, need, we cannot kill this guy here. Do not kill that guy, Junkin. Do not kill that guy. Whatever you do. So this is our first caped bulletkin. So this is something that happens after you kill the past, you'll start, you'll find these caped bullet kin around. And it takes about 30 seconds, if you don't kill it, just let it walk around, he won't shoot you, look he's aiming right at me, he won't shoot me. Uh, just let him walk around for around 30 seconds, and you'll see him poof out of existence. Uh, the next wave will spawn or the room will end, like that, very nice, um, take the demon head. Um, and basically what that does is, that's one of, I believe five or maybe ten, of the caped bullet kin to unlock one of the secret characters. Uh, the secret character is amazing. It's a really fun character to play, so I'm really excited to get that done. Get dead it, get dead it. Oh, another key, nice. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up. 
Oh, okay. okay, we managed to kill him before he shot, which is nice. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Okay, go away. I do not like them guys. Them guys are uh, really deadly. Come on. Oh my god, I do not like the fact that there's spikes in this room. It scares me a lot. Oh my god, this is so stressful. This isn't even something that should be that stressful. I'm not gonna roll over these, it's too risky. Okay, um... Uh... Deckard's full. Okay, we're just gonna take it for this for now. We've not used much else. I am so, so not trusting those spikes. Okay, not a mimic. Ish, yes, I think this might be it. Oh, this is it, this is it, this is it. Oh, we've done it. Finally, we've made our way. Place the crest on the altar now, just to not forget that we've done that. So we did open that weapon and get the gun, so this is only a blue chest. I'm just going to destroy it for the junk. Give me junk, give me junk, give me junk, give me junk. Oh, a key. Uh, why does the game hate me? Oh, secret room. Uh, armor. I don't know why I used the uh, blank before I'd been to the boss. I really should have gone to the boss first. Ah, oh, I'm so sad. And we've had two secret rooms that have just had armor in them. It's kind of terrible. Oh, god damn. Hopefully we can get um, some extra out of the uh, Abbey of the True Gun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you replaced that blank for me quite easily there. It's nice. And um, Doggo got me a health. Not that I need that, but it's still helpful. We might get hit on the boss a few times. Um, I'd hope not, but we might. Oh, shit. Right, there we go. Easy room, easy life. This should just be uh, what's called a Corridor King. Yeah, it is. A Corridor King is um, just a corridor that uh, looks like a room on the minimap. With enemies, but it isn't. It's just a, it's just literally a hallway, um, like one of these ones are. It's it's, it's some weird sort of room generation glitch. Uh, I'm not sure why it happens, but it happens on the uh, floor two quite often, especially in that location. So let's uh, like off the entrance room is what I mean by that. Okay, we've got the Amaconda. Let's say goodbye to our flawless, because um, this guy's very difficult to flawless. Uh, even even with 500 hours in the game, I still only falls this guy about 25% of the time and that's usually when I have better weapon rid than this. It's this attack that I get hit by most, the uh, the snakes. God damn, where are you? And the fact that he can heal is gear. Why can he heal? Why does he do so much damage? Not do so much damage, have so much health. It's such bullshit. I killed one of his minions there, so that should help. Oh my god, this is oh, this 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 hurts. This this must take years off my life. Fighting this guy. This guy's so stressful. Don't fucking come after me, you bitch. Let's go blank for safety. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> I'm real I keep realizing I'm being really quiet, but blank again. Okay, I didn't even need to. We can follow the fucking Amaconda. Oh and we got um we got this. Oh, what does it synergize with? Oh, it's the Gemini Carbine. Um I believe it just makes it set things on fire, maybe? Oh no. It gives it triple shot. That's way better than I thought. Right, so we now have three keys and we've found the secret room so we can take a little trip down to uh, where is it where is it here it is uh, take a little trip down to the um, Abbey of the True Gun so we should unlock something just for going down there and then hopefully we should we'll, we should be able to kill the boss and unlock something for doing that too so for those of you that haven't seen this this is the second secret floor a lot of people don't know how to get here or haven't managed it because it is a bit difficult there you go look blood broke just for heading down here and this this floor i'd say is about the same difficulty as the fifth floor so be prepared when you come down here oh this is so good this so what what that um galactic medal of valor did um is i believe it halves your reload speeds and it increases your damage and it increases increases your damage to bosses as well i believe if I'm correct now, I might check that actually after this room. One sec. There we go. Got these guys. Right. Let's have a look. See. Galactic Medal of Valor. Is that what it's called? I might be calling it something stupid. Um, Galactic Medal of Valor. Significantly increases damage dealt to power first, meaning bosses. Medal awarded. Um, but most importantly, I, I I think I think it does also increase reload speed. It seems to look. Um, but yeah, it definitely increases uh, damage to bosses by 25%, uh, I think it is. Maybe it's a bit more. It says significantly, so it could be more. Okay, this is just junk fodder. Yes, junk and grows stronger. Any any blue chests are just junk and fodder. Um, I'm not sure if we have curse or if cursed enemies can just spawn down here. It might just be the case that cursed enemies can spawn down here due to the nature of the floor. It's like 
the Abbey of the True Gun, so everything's about cultists and like cast enemies, so let's let that junk can do this. Come on, hit him. Smack his booty. There we go. He exploded him. Um, this floor as well is unique in the fact that it's the only floor that has two secret rooms. Um, the other floors can have um, two secret rooms. I think the uh, Oubliette can have two, but it's uh, not a guarantee, whereas this one always has two. So we will be looking for both of them. One of them's always an NPC, mostly Brother Alban, um, which again we'll see if we manage to get rounds of him. Um, and uh, the other is just a normal secret room, which will most likely have a piece of armor if uh, we're going by the look that we've had recently. Every secret room's just had a piece of armor. I am absolutely loving this weapon. Uh, this weapon's normally kind of garbage. Okay, we're going to open that. Okay, and we got the old Goldie. Old Goldie's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an, an excellent um, weapon, but. Oh, look, that's the shit monkeys I was talking about from um, the Marines Past. Whatever they are. I can't remember what they are, but yeah, they look like shit gorillas. Um, but yeah, we found one secret room there. So we're going to save our blanks and go to the shop first and see if we can buy some to uh, use on the uh, secret rooms. Because I kind of want my blanks for the fight. Because you can lose a lot of health on the uh, on the boss on this floor. The uh, the boss on this floor has 30% extra health um, than every other boss in the game, I think. Um, apart from maybe the dragon. Thanks for that key. Uh, and also, he's just got some hard attack patterns. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do something kind of stupid here. Uh, actually, no. Okay, I'm going to buy this. Meat Bone, by the way, heals you for one heart, which I don't care about, but it doubles your damage until your next get hit. So what I'm going to do is, after this floor is done, I'm going to buy that. After this floor is done, I'm going to use Meat Bone, because I do not want to get hit on this boss. Well, I, no, I'd say that. I, I will get hit on this boss. Um, do you know what? I know that this guy drops a special piece of junk if you shoot his chest, and it, it's it's called lies. Um, I really want to test if there's a synergy with junker and lies. Let's go for it. Oh, we got gold junk. Oh my god, we got gold junk. I've never had this before. Look at our casings, and holy shit, look at fucking mecha junk. That's amazing. Right, let's go to the shop. Um. There isn't anything else in here we want really, but we do have mega credits now. Right, okay, this run should be unlosable now we have mecha junk. I don't, don't exactly know what he does, I've never seen a video, I've just seen pictures. But I, I assume he's good. He, is there any point in getting more junk? I don't know if he upgrades after this. Um, I'm guessing so. Kill him. Go for it. Do it. I want to see what you do. What's he doing? Um, he's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. He's got a lightsaber. That's crazy. And he's got missiles. That's awesome. God, look at that weird face on the door. God damn, this is so cool. I've never had this before. I've not even had I've not even had gold junk on my PS4 save. Like I've uh, I've only got like that and the turkey to unlock. Um, well, no, I've unlocked them, but to actually find because um, they're just rare. But I kind of I don't know if that's like a guaranteed way to get him, but I'm I'm glad I know that now. Oof. I got here. Um, I gotta know that now, but yes, this is awesome. I'm I'm gonna keep going for junk just in case it does still upgrade his powers. Um, but I can I could say that we're pretty guaranteed to get the win here. Um, this guy seems pretty powerful. I mean, he fires missiles and he has a he has a little wrist uh, machine gun, and he's got unlimited range. And oh my god, it's crazy. Oh, push this guy in the pit. A veteran shotgunner there as well. Yeah, the, this floor does have some of the harder enemies in, like the veteran shotgunners. Um, I really want some ammo for this gun too. This gun's kicking ass right now. I'm killing things in like a few hits. There we go. Um, we still need to find the other secret room. That was only the first secret room. I'm really glad I shot the chest as well. Um, oh, there we go. Um, I am surprised though that it didn't have um, lies in it. Normally that uh, chest always contains a secret piece of junk called lies. Maybe when you have junk there's just an increased chance to get gold junk and that's like one of the ways to sort of force it in a way. So what we got here. I'm going to open this. Oh, that's good. It's HP. That's the next secret room. Uh, it's pretty crap. I'll take the ammo though. Thank you. Um, and I'll buy the other blank. Mainly because we have unlimited money for the rest of the run. I could... I could actually... Uh, oh no. I was going to say I could put this into the key. But we've gone past that floor now. So I can't. Um, right. I'm going to use old Goldie for a little bit. So this boss looks very, very similar to one of the first floor bosses, uh, the one we fought actually, if you uh, if you recognise that. But he's basically like a mega version of that boss. Oh my god. There we go. Come on, Junkin. Do it for me. Oh my god, he's doing so much damage. 
was crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, um, I'll probably lose a good few hearts on this fight. I'm glad I got that health upgrade. Because um, <laughs> a lot of this guy's attacks are... Um, I won't say bullshit, they're just very hard to dodge. But uh, Junkin's got this. Uh, like that. That's that's kind of bullshit. Oh my god, he's got a lightsaber. That lightsaber is so awesome. Fucking hell. I don't like the way this attack ends. He does it normal, and then he does a speed boosted um, shot through the end. Okay, we got him. We got him. So we should get an unlock for this, if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, we did. The Bloody Scarf, which is terrible. It's such a bad item. A lot of people like swear by it and really love it, but it changes the way that your dodge work, dodge roll works into like a blink, and I hate it. It makes me like get take hits all the time, um, because it seems to add like a little delay onto your roll. Like rather than rolling as soon as you click the button, it'll roll a little bit after, and oh, that just screws me over so much. I can't get on with it at all. So right now. Okay, I was going to say now we're going to use meat button, but I'm really glad I didn't because this room seems horrible. I don't know what's going on with this room, but I, I do not like it. Put, put, um, right. Meat button now. Right, now we're dealing double damage. I don't know if Junkin deals double damage. It'd be cool if he did, but I, I doubt he does. He's already dealing enough damage here, to be fair, so it's not a big problem if he isn't. <laughs> this is, this is madness. Uh, get this for old Goldie. Get that back to full, but this is this is just insane. We're dealing so much damage. Um, God damn! Look at that. It's just melting through everything. Nope, nope, nope. This this is this is a contender for one of the most powerful runs I've ever had. It's like that's a cursed enemy, and it's it's just melted. It's just deleted from the earth. Get wrecked. I need need to pay pay very very close attention and make sure I don't get hit though, because obviously getting hit will lose my meat bun and it'll half eye damage. Which I do not want. Where's the last guy? Okay, Junkin's trying to take care of him over here. There we go, I got him. You got him. Ah, oh, there's a bird over here too. Stupid bird. Gotcha. Let's pick that up, come on. This is insane. The game doesn't know how to deal with my damage. Oh. Right, you watch. I'm going to take damage by falling into a pit. I keep falling into pits. Mmm. I'm going to take it now, I've got double damage. Ugh, oh, it's Frost Giant. I don't even like it. It's bad. Uh, mini boss time. Um, um, old Goldie. Oh no, it's, okay, it's Block now. Um, I want to fight this guy, but um, I'm afraid we'll lose our buff. So I'm going to go and do the rest of the floor first and then come back. If we lose the buff, I'll come back. Or if we, um, if we defeat the boss, I'll come back then. Because we need to get that done and now is the best time. There's no time like the present with uh, the run that we have at the minute. God damn. Come on, Junkin. Come on. Ooh, uh, so here we have Loot Bag. Um, loot Bag is one of the Payday 2 items. It can only be uh, acquired by stealing. And here it's given us the option to steal. So what we do is we do that and then steal it. Thanks. <laughs> that was like the perfect shot pick as well. This is, this is crazy. So now I've, I've made a horrible mistake. Um... I've just picked up an item that drops 15% of our, um, 15 of all our money when we get hit, and that's a lot of money. So we need to be very vigilant of that. Um, hopefully we're not going to be getting hit because of meat bun, but still, uh, we need to be very aware that that does happen. Get ended. Good to do it. Come on, mushroom. I don't have to come around the corner. There we go, there we go. Thank you, thank you. Got you. Oh my god, just die. Oh god, there's one of these dudes. This dude could end my life. End my life in two pieces. Um, right, I can't believe that guy just gave us the option to steal. That did increase our curse, but at this point, curse isn't even a worry. Um, I just wanted the unlock. Look at this. Look at this. He doesn't even get to shoot. He, they don't even stand a chance. Oh my god. I could use the decoy as, a, as like an actual decoy at, at points as well, but I mean, is there any point really? Do I need to? Um, junk, give me junk. Ah, oh, give me health. Ugh. I really want more junk. I want to see if it does much more. I want to see if it grows in size and so like acquires more attack patterns. God damn. Oh, fucking hell, this is crazy. I just I don't know what to say. Like, um, this is like a run where I have barely unlocked anything, and it's still crazy. Is a veteran shot gonna end him quickly? Come on. 
Oh, the aim assist really hates these little uh, minecarts. It does not know what to do with them. Um, unfortunately, we can't buy anything more from the shop now because we've stolen and the decoy's in there. The decoy will stay in there because um, it just there's nothing to destroy it. Um, but we don't need anything from there anyways because I believe it's just um, keys. And we don't want keys. We want junk, I think. Like I need to I need to go online and have a look after this and make sure we're doing the right thing here because if we ever get this combo again, we need to know what to do. Oh, slash them with that sword. Reach me with that hand. You got not. Right, let's go. Um, we do have two, one more room, or maybe two, if this connects to another over this way. This boss should get, like, deleted. Like, absolutely deleted. Okay, they, they are dangerous. End you. Right, come on, kill that guy. Chunk him, do it. Wow, got him. Right, um, a thank you, I guess. Um, we don't have any way to spend that health. Like, I wish we had the curse woman so we could do that. Right, let's go and do the boss. Um, there's only one boss I could think would be a big problem. We'll see who we get. I'm actually going to stay on this weapon. It's doing so much damage. Okay, this is the only boss that I thought could hit us. Um, right, I'm just going to blank that attack because this guy's a bitch. A big fat bitch. Okay, this attack isn't too bad. It just depends where he rolls. Okay, we got him, we got him. What? That's a, that's a weird direction to roll in, buddy. Okay, we just need to just need to focus. Oh my god, that was that was so crazy. We killed him so fast, and we got the shot bow, which is again god awful. Um, let's go and fight Blocknar. Again, a boss that I'm not a big fan of because he's got some bullshit attacks, but we should be able to take him out pretty quick if we use the right uh, gun, which is this one. Hello. Um, if you remember, this is from the um, this is from the tutorial. This is the guy that he was talking about that we need to get revenge on. Is there something else? I'm here for you. Right. Um, Manny says hi. Ah, I see. You understand? I don't love her, right? Okay then, look out behind you. This should unlock the uh, the mini uh, boss battle as well with him. Uh, right. He, I know that he has two friends, so let's kill them first. Cool. They're dead. Now it's time for you to die. I don't know if he has uh, boss armor like the other bosses in this game do. I'm assuming he does. Uh, oh shit, he's going down quick though. Either way. Oh, he's, he's trapped our junk boy, look. He's like stuck behind this wall. Come on, come on. Sorry, I'm focusing so much. I do not want to get hit. There we go. He's ended. That fight should be way harder than that just was. Um, that fight's meant to be quite difficult. And we just, like, absolutely deleted him. Oh, we got a synergy with that. What's this? The Deckard. Oh, Blade Runner. That makes sense. Um, I don't get what the synergy is. Uh, fire the Deckard, maybe? Oh, it gets three shots per magazine. I'm guessing that's it. Um, that's, a, that's a decent buff, actually. Humiliating. <laughs> uh, bloody hell. This guy. See you later. See you back in the breach. Have fun with that. We're gonna go steamroll the rest of this game. I'm not even gonna bother looking for secret rooms. We're so beyond that now. Do you know, I think that, um, even though this is very powerful, I think the demon head would just destroy. So I might try the demon head at some point. I'm going to wait until this runs out of ammo though, because um, this is going immensely well. I need to remember to pick up the bolt that can kill, kill the pass though on the um, on the uh, fifth floor, because if I forget that, I'm going to look like, I'm, like a right mug. I mean, this will still be a good video, but it's still, it'd be all for nothing really. Right. Oh god, I, I, I just know it. I'm, I'm going to take damage to something stupid. Right, we got him. We got him. Oh, we got the hand. There's the hand. So the hand that we delivered on the last episode, um, we've got to take through each su subsequent floor. And that's what we're doing now. Right. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. Our junk. Our junk's just doing his own thing. He's just walking around on his own, taking care of business. Really. He didn't. He, he's an independent junk. He didn't need us. It's like it's like we're his pet now. Like <laughs> we've become the bitch. Like, just, I mean, rem remember him to start with? He was just a little brown bag that did nothing. And now he's a golden-plated um, fighting machine of space. It's incredible. Goddamn. Oh, okay, I've got another key. From Dog. Dog is incredible, this room. We're going to have to give him a name, because he's incredible. 
we've got the clown mask here so this we're gonna steal because this is another part of the thing and now we get two of our, cl of our little clown posse um that's pretty good uh, the, the other two weapons are kind of shite but um we just need one more now it's the drill so if we do find that we'll steal it but uh there's no more shops so we probably won't i think you can only get it from shops initially when you're unlocking it but this guy will blank for us though and the other guy will shotgun for us which is pretty awesome Okay, they, these are the sort of guys that I take damage from stupidly. Right. I'm kind of tempted to just rush straight to the boss as soon as we find it, because I really don't want to lose this buff. Okay, Junk's doing, doing a good job. Come on. Um, the other guy, that's the, the shotgunner dude, is okay. He's not anything special, I wouldn't say. Where's the last guy? There he is. Um, oh, God, he blanked for me. He saved my life. He's gonna do a good job. Did you? You didn't find that health. Don't lie. The room gave me that. Easy key kill. Get you dead. Get you dead. Get you dead. Get you dead. My God, we're clearing rooms at insane speeds. Fuck it hell. This is just. Oh wait, what happened there? Did I get hit? Or did I, my gun just run out of ammo? I'm gonna use a demon head. Okay, there's more enemies than I thought in this room. I think I didn't get hit. I don't think I got hit. I think it's just me being an idiot. Nah, I would have lost a lot of money if I got hit. I would have seen it on the floor. This isn't as good as I initially thought it would be. Um, let's go with... The Eye of the Beholster. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Damn. It's doing nice. Doing a good job. I keep reloading this before I empty the mag. I should always empty the mag because then we get a friend. Cool, boss. Um, if I hope we get the kill pillars because then we can just destroy them with um, the Deckard. Okay, I get back in this pillar. Ooh, ammo. I'm taking that for the Hegemony Carbine. I know that this is kind of a bit dull watching just one gun and me steamroll. Uh, I mean, it might not be. It depends what you feel like, but this is just so fun using this gun. It's, it's so satisfying, especially with, like I said, the triple shot that it's getting. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, I was just about to say I just got hit by a little fucking BD and I did. No. Okay, our double damage is gone now. Um, not that that's a massive problem. Uh, feed the junk, feed the junk. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> I knew I was getting hit by something stupid like that. I, I, I saw them all like converge in on me and I didn't know if they were all dead. So I dodge rolled and I dodge rolled into one of them. But we still got insane damage. Even without the double damage, it's still, it's still pretty, pretty awesome. We're still ending these guys. And we didn't lose too much money, we managed to pick up most of it up. Luckily it does give you like a brief period of time to pick up the money before it disappears. Um, and we did manage to get like most of it. Uh, because it was in such a small space, but I, I just, I knew it'd be a stupid little enemy, like one of them little beady guys or something like that. The RPG? Meh. It's, it's okay. With the extra reload speed it could be good. Um, yeah, but it's, 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 it's a room initiator. That's what we'll call it. it. Basically, you just fire one off when you enter a room. That's about it. Job done. It kills one enemy. Then you don't use it till the next room. Because it's had real time, it's like four seconds. And that's just absurd. For any gun. Not just the uh, RPG. Any gun with that long of a reload is just not worth using. Ooh. You watch. We'll get hit for the rest of the run now. Oh my god, he's just spawned on top of me. Go away, spider. Um, oh, we've got a cell over here. Uh, who's this? Kershula. We want to open Kershula. Um, she basically just sells items to you. Uh, there's a spe specific set of items she sells um, just throughout the gungeon um, on like random, randomly in shops and on floors. Uh, but she always asks for... Um, like, well, she, no, she, sorry, she shouldn't ask. She basically sells her items for half price, which is very nice of her, but they also have 2.5 curse attached to them as a along with any curse that the item has. So if an item has two curse on it and she gives you 2.5, that's 4.5 curse for one item. So it's quite a, oh, that's nice. It's quite a hefty price to pay really for um, for what you get in there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's not worth doing unless the item's really good in my opinion, or unless you're comfortable with curse. Like where I am now, have I got the cell door key? I don't think I have, have I? I'm gonna go check anyways. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Um. Where I am now in this game, I'm comfortable with more curse, but early on, it's it's not going to be the best idea. Right, who have we got? Who have we got? Um, let's get out the Deckard and the RPG. Nah, we'll go. We'll go. 
the old Goldie and the Deckers. Come on, Deckard, where are you? There you go. Cool. Warmonger. Meh. He's an okay boss, but I'll definitely get hit against him. Because he's a bitch. Oh my god, it's this attack I don't like. Okay, I put down my um, thingy because uh, my decoy just to block some bullets. I want to get to the other side of the room because I prefer this side. That's better. Oh, imagine this with double damage. This would be so good. Oh, the blank boy has done it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we've managed to force him. Have we forced every boss so far? I think we have. Oh, there we go. We've got a cell dark key as well. Thank you. Oh, we got alpha bullets. Uh, alpha bullets with um, the Deckard is going to be really good. It's going to be really good with the shotgun too. First bullet of every mag does double damage. Going to be really good with the RPG. It's not going to be very good with the carbine, but don't worry about that. Right, get up here. Unlock this bitch. I, I remember she's really moody about like you unlocking her cage. <laughs> you freed me. Why? Such an evil cow. Um, right, let's look quickly look for secret room. Um, not there check down here as well uh, but I think let me check we got one two three and four if we manage to flawless the boss which is certainly possible um, we've got a, a lead god on our hands which I'm quite looking forward to I like lead gods uh, it gets a, it gets us an achievement I believe it unlocks a super hot watch and it's a pretty hard achievement to get uh, like I said, I, I only led God about 10-15% of the time anyways, because I always make a stupid mistake. But it'd be really nice to get that out of the way with while doing a past. And now, now we're on this floor. Remember, pick up the bullet that can kill the past. Pick up the bullet that can kill the past. Something else as well that's nice is we now no longer have to like really stress out about getting hit because of um, Meat Bun. Although the damage is nice, it is it does add so much stress. They kind of like junk do most of this though. Okay, this is just the hammer room. Easy enough. Uh, with with the extra speed out of combat, you can just bear through that room super quick. It doesn't like turn off the speed out of combat um, when you're doing that room. It's kind of stupid. They really should patch that, I think. Uh, there's the cat. Get over here, you puss cat. Did I get him? Did I get him? No, there he is. Gowed him. Gowed him. Right, uh, cultist over there. I kind of want to just let Junkin do this because um, these hammers are really going to mess with my chi. There we go. Fucking hell. Give me my money back. Go away. There we go. This room's done. Okay, nice. Thank you. Um, junk? Yeah, yeah junk. I, again, don't actually know if this is doing anything, but I suppose I'll get it just in case. Because um, I know that there's one level of Junkin that revives you, and maybe if we have him at that level, even with a gold junk, he'll still revive us. Not that we're <laughs> not that we're gonna die at this stage. I, I very highly doubt we're gonna die, but it'd be nice to uh, have it just in case. It'd be really cool if um, if you could bring Junkin down to the pasts with you. That'd be really interesting. Um, because of the sort of follower that he is, it'd make a, it'd make for an interesting past. Although, I do think that'd be very overpowered. Now, let's go for the Deckard, because the Deckard did as well. Um, go back to this Hegemony Carbine. Go where fire. Oh my god, this is not good. Oh, he blanked it. What a babe. Right, carry on trucking through. We're going to find a few more curse enemies now, because we do have three curse, I believe. Um, but that's not much. I think... It's six when it starts to get sort of problematic, and we we'll probably won't reach that this floor unless there's something we can't afford. Which I say is jokingly because there's obviously nothing we can't afford. We have 835. This is the most money I've ever had. It's insane. Like, I <laughs> the gold junk must be so rare because it's so powerful. God damn. We're killing these guys while they can shoot without having double damage. I mean, that just goes to show. It's because this gun fires three um, three bullets for the price of one. It's so good. Okay, more junk. Oh god, he's a mimic. Oh, and I got a, I got an unlock for that. That's nice. Oh, is that bouncy bullets? That's bouncy bullets. That's fun. Uh, let's open you. Elder blank. That's gonna give us the flawless, or at least hopefully. So I'm gonna take it, even though it's more curse. Um, I really want that flawless. Flawless dragon is obviously one that is. Oh, we got YV. This is crazy. This is just insane. <laughs> I'm going to spend all our money on this. I've never done this before, but I'm going to do it. That was... Oh. So what YV does is for every time you do that, you get 3.7% chance to fire extra bullets. So now our gun's going to be absolutely insane. There's going to be so many bullets. That's... <laughs> I've never got that much YV stacked before. And with bounty bullets... Oh my god. Oh, the Deckard. The Deckard is going to be incredible. 
We're gonna fire so many bullets out of that thing. Oh, oof, I almost got hit there. <laughs> oh, I wish I could play through the lich floor. I haven't unlocked it yet, but I wish I could because this run... It's gonna be underwhelming going to the, um... Going to the pass now because, uh, we're gonna get... It's gonna get rid of all our items. Okay, <laughs> that guy's kind of a pain. Oh god, Oh. Oh my god, imagine this with meat bone. This would be so awesome. I mean, it's awesome as it is. Yeah, I've never had that many stacks of YV. The most I've ever had is like three, and I just got like, I think, ten. Something like that. It was quite a lot. Okay, so we're gonna buy the blank, and that's it. Oh, get the bullet, get the bullet. Hello, thank you. Oof, almost forgot. What you got for us over here? Oh, this is. I didn't even see the other enemy. What happened? Was there another enemy? Or did it just delete itself? I mean, I'm just gonna play through the rest of this floor simply for the fun factor. Like, I don't need to. It's just, I, I, I don't want this run to ever end. Like, the YV Shrine's so rare. Gold Junk's rare. Junkin's rare. Um, that's good, but we don't want it. Um, because we have a better item. The Elder Blank is top tier. Is there any more enemies in this room? Oh, there's one here. Do not shoot us. Ooh. You cheesy bastard. Oh my god. I'm glad you shoot in that pattern. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I don't, it's kind of weird that the robot dude can't just fly. The robot Junkin. They should just have made him fly rather than just TP to you. Oh, I'm going to be so annoyed if we don't get Lead God. This is so powerful. We should be able to get it. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, there's a guy in the wall. That's not fair. I don't even know where you came from. Luckily, we have fuck all money to drop now. So that's okay. <laughs> Uh, you didn't dig again. You didn't dig that up. Don't lie to me. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Deckard. I want the Deckard on full. The Deckard's gonna be incredible. Um, got onto the chest here. Let's junk this up. Oh my god. What's through here? Kershula. Here's Kershula. Um, none of that matters. I'd like to buy something from her, but none of actually none of it matters. Okay, right. Now for the stressful bit. Actually beating the boss. Um. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to get hit, but I'm really going to try hard not to. I'm really going to try my hardest not to. Oh, look at that. That's insane. Oh, I'm just going to blank any attack. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm just going to blank that. Oh my god, this is insane. Look at how fast my, my Elder Blank charges. Oh my god. What the actual shit? Oh my god. Okay, blank that. Blank that. We're out of Elder Blank. Okay, just do that. Okay. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna Elder Blank um, this phase because I know that I'm gonna trip up on this bit. I know that I'm gonna trip up on this bit. He really throws me off, actually. The, um, the guy that, that does the blanks. He really throws me off my game because I like to know where I'm rolling to and he's just fucking it all up. Okay, come on, one phase in, one phase in, one phase in. Oh no. Ah, okay, two phase. Look, he's got no health. He's got actually no health. You watch, I'm gonna get fucking hit doing this. Throw me off, you dick. Don't throw me off. Don't throw me off. Oh, oh, there we go. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Oh, we got lead god. Oh my god. This is so stressful, but so fun. Holy shit. This is the most insane run I've ever had. Lead god. Fuck yes. Now, we have the bullet. Yes. Good. I'm sorry this beautiful, beautiful run. This amazing run. I'm just going to fire some weapons just to see how... <laughs> Look at all the arrows. Oh, watch, watch this. Let's fire the RPG. Let's fire that a few times. Oh, God, it bounces. I want to I wanna see pop. Do pop, do pop. It's not popping. Come on. Nope, it's not popping. Uh, crossbow. Oh, there we go. Pop. Fucking hell. I don't think that pops. Maybe, maybe it pops when it empties its clip. That'd be cool. If it does, then you get like a bunch of kids. You do! You get a bunch of chi uh, uh, kids when you do that. That's cool. Um, but that's been... Oh my god. That's This has been amazing. This has been one of the best runs I've ever had. So... Let's go and beat the past. If we can't beat the past, I'll be very annoyed. The um, Hunter's Past is incredibly easy, in my opinion. Um, it's, well, I won't say incredibly easy, but it is the easiest past, so we should be able to do this no problem at all.
uh, let's just see how it goes, I guess. Um, again, I've said last time, spoiler warning if you haven't done the past yet. This is going to contain spoilers because this is part of the story of the game. You don't want to see this if you want to play the past for your, for your own and discover it. I've shown you how to get there. It's up to you. We're not going to have our items and our cool synergies, so that's going to be gone. But, by the way, we're a skull because we have the payday synergy. If, if your costume isn't the original character, it doesn't know what to do and just gives you a... Um, it gives you the skeleton. Right, so basically what we got to do here is... <laughs> Zip it, Junior. Um, so, is the if he's Junior, is the other one Grandpa? Right, so we talk to the sword. Um, and then an old man comes out with a robot. I'm going to kill his robot. But we, we this is the only one where you don't get like... Like a sort of a thematic weapon. You get the sticky crossbow, which isn't like one of her weapons. It doesn't really make sense. I suppose she has a normal crossbow. Ah. So he's encased us in bullets, and uh, our little guy's just running around. I'm gonna resist you, bitch. Resist! Wah! <laughs> right. Oh my god. Okay, so most of his attacks are pretty easy from what I remember, but uh, there is a few that can be a bit difficult. Okay, this one's not too difficult. It's just raining with lightning. Okay, this one he just like spreads it out and all you have to do is step in like that and you're good. Um, he does like sort of push in. Okay, I don't know what the sword does. It just spins, okay. It just spins. The uh, the old man does buff him as well, so you've got to try and hit the old man whenever possible I get near him. I'm just going to blank to get away. But as you can see, this... Oh, the old man's dead. I didn't know you could kill the old man. Nice. <laughs> your, your master is dead. What's even the point in trying? But there we go, look. We didn't even get hit on that past. That past is a piece of cake, so if, if you're going for past kills, this is the first one I'd do. The um, the Marine's the hardest in my opinion, but this 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 one's very easy. There's, there's only a few attacks you have to dodge, and you can kill him fairly quickly because the sticky crossbow's amazing. And there we go guys, that was like pro probably one of the best, most hectic, most amazing runs I've ever had, and I'm super glad that I caught it on film. Um, got it for it, got it in a video, so um, we'll just make our way to the... Uh, to the end. We've got Leg God, so we should have a hell of a lot of Gemini credits. Um, look at all the unlocks. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, I did a quick restart by accident. Whoopsie daisy. I'll just exit to the, um, to the thingy. Return to the breach. Uh, we just need to go and buy some stuff now, because we should have, like, 51 Gemini credits. Hot damn. That's a lot of Gemini credits. We haven't unlocked any other NPCs that we can buy from, so we're just gonna have to keep buying from these guys. Um, what do they got? So they, I know they got spice in here. I want spice. Spice is a drug. If you didn't know, it's, it's an amazing drug uh, in this game. Not in real life. Don't do drugs. Um, and we've uh, unlocked the shop, the, the, all the shop now. Um, we're currently bringing your arm back, so just be patient. Um, we'll have your arm in no time. Instead of having that little weird stump thing. Uh, but yeah, we've got some cool guns there. Um, and hopefully we have as good as a run as we did here on the next one. And I, yeah, we'll be doing the convicts past. I really hope it goes this well because that was so fun. And we got so many unlocks. Such a good run. But yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. And I really hope you enjoyed. See you later.